Hello again to anyone and no one who accidentally clicked on this video. And I wasn't planning on recording today, so welcome to this bonus video. I just thought, since the Booster Course Pass got its last DLC last week, it might be a fun idea to go back and react to my predictions video that I made way back when they first revealed the Booster Course Pass and just see, I don't know, how accurate and wrong I was. Uh, this also uh, was one of the first videos I ever made. This is the 11th video on my channel. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Let's just get into it, I, I guess. For the, la For the last few months, ever since Nintendo announced and released the first wave of new Mario Kart 8 DLC, many people have been predicting what the See, remaining... See, I don't normally make videos like this. I... Most of my videos are just gaming videos, like I just I just play a video game. Um, but this video, I actually edited it. Um, I, I, wrote, I wrote a script for it. I had to like put it all together on an app, um, put in background music. So this was a legitimately like, I, you know, like an, I don't make a lot of these edited videos. Uh, I do have a few more videos like this on my channel. Um, they're actually quite popular, like like the five or six videos I have that are like this um, have about a thousand views. I made a Smash Bros. Brawl facts video earlier this year on its anniversary and that one blew up. It actually got 60,000 views so it's crazy. Most of my gaming videos only get a few views so I'm really thinking of doing more videos like this anyway like doing more of these like list videos, ranking videos where I write a script and like put it all together because um, they, they do much better, but they're also really fun to make. And I only, I've only made a handful of, of these kind of videos, but anyway, that's just a bit of a side note. Let's just continue. Going to be. With Wave 2 right around the corner, I thought now would be the perfect time for me to finally give my official predictions and hopes for the rest of Monica Kart 8's Booster Course Pass. Firstly, I should mention that I never played or cared for Mario Kart Tour. Henceforth, I am largely unfamiliar with most of Tour's original tracks. When I played Paris Promenade, Tokyo Blur, and Ninja Hideaway in the first wave of Mario Kart 8 DLC, that was my first time playing those tracks. Because yeah, I made this video a little bit after Wave 1 came out, so I didn't make this right away like everyone else did like when they first announced the Booster Course Pass. It, it was a couple months later, I think, when I actually got around to this. I will not be making this. any tour tracks. I am also assuming that there will be at least one tour track in every cup for the remainder of the DLC. As evident in the first wave, it seems Nintendo will promote Tour more than any other game in the franchise, since not as many people have played Mario Kart Tour. I am going to assume that for the 10 remaining cups in the DLC, Damn. there will be at least it's one crazy, tour like, track for each. When we only had so Wave 1? Instead of giving you my top 40 track prediction list, I am going to be giving you my top 30 track prediction list, all from the first 7 Mario Kart games. This gives plenty of room for the Tour tracks which I am sure will take up most of the slots by the time the entire DLC is out. Alright, without further... So as I explained there, because I hate Mario Kart Tour, and I've, I've explained that so many times on this channel, um, and because as we saw in the first wave, there were so many tour tracks, I just assumed that there would be so many tour tracks. So instead of giving a list of 40 tracks, which is what we had left after wave one, um, I just I was going to give you uh, my top 30 and just assume the other 10 would be like tour tracks, whatever. So this is like my top 30 non-tour, like tour tracks not included, you know, Do was basically what I was list. trying to explain here. Starting with Super Mario Kart for the SNES, I chose three tracks for my So we did not get Vanilla the Lake. Is Vanilla Lake 1. Outside of GBA and Tour, Vanilla Lake has never been remade, and I would love to see either depiction from the SNES appear in Mario Kart 8. So I am, I am quite surprised we did not get van Vanilla Lake, because there were advertisements to this. I've, I've talked about this many times before too, but in Wave 1 of the Booster Course Pass, like um, in Coconut Mall, on, in Shroom Ridge, there were advertisements to Vanilla Lake. Um, so I, I, it, I, I don't know, I'm just, I mean, you know what, the Bowser's Castle 3 we got in, in Wave 6, is an app. It's one of the best tracks in the game. It was outstanding. It was a great remake. So, I would definitely take Bowser's Castle over over Vanilla Lake. But, um, I, I am surprised Vanilla that. Lake had many Easter eggs like at the, the time, I thought it was a, a hundred percent guarantee we, we would get Vanilla Lake. DLC, possibly hinting at its return in a future wave. 
Next on my list is SNES Bowser Castle 3. Okay, oh. I actually guessed that right. I, I forgot. I, I, okay, I haven't watched this since I made this like way over a year ago. I had no idea. Okay, I got that right. Bowser's Castle 3. <laughs> I had no idea I Side even predicted part. that. I just, I forgot. Okay, Super cool. For the GPA, well, I got that right. Not a single SNES Bowser Castle has ever been remade, and that's a crime. Seeing one of the earliest Bowser-themed tracks reimagined in 3D and in the Mario Kart 8 engine would be truly amazing. Finally, SNES Mario Circuit 4 needs to come to the Switch. Outside of the GBA, Mario Circuit 4 is the only Mario Circuit from the SNES that has never been remade. I would love to see this classic stage make a comeback. So, it wasn't Mario Circuit 4, but we got Mario Circuit 3, so I was pretty close. I don't know, do I give myself half a point for that? Who knows? Although, I would be okay with Mario Circuit 2 as well, since that was already remade in Tour, and with an added gliding section. Yeah, because it was more Cir Circuit 3 we got in the Booster Course Pass, right? Mario Kart 64, the first track I chose was Koopa Troopa Beach. I just love this beach themed track where you race around the island. I especially. It's a great track, but unfortunately we didn't get it. Love all those ramps, and that hard to reach shortcut through the waterfall. Next up is Calamari Desert. This okay, that's that's another one I got right. I'll I'll have to put that on my thing here. I'm, I want to write down all the ones I got right. So Calamari Desert from the N64. Um, yeah, a great track. It was, this was one of my favorite tracks as a kid, growing up on Mario Kart 64. The track, the train going through in, in in the middle of the track was just I. Some a lot of people hate that, but I loved that. I thought it was so awesome. It was one of my favorite tracks from the N64. The train that runs across the map made this track so unique and stand out from the rest. When racing against friends, it's always such a frenzy when some people manage to beat the train and the others have no choice but to wait for it to pass. With this map's return and tour, there's a greater chance we'll see it in all its glory in Mario Kart 8. And we did. Last up for my N64 tracks is Bowser's Castle. N64 so we did not get N64 Bowser Castle. This is one of my favorite Bowser Castles. It's just super nostalgic for me. Um, we, well, we, we ended up getting the SNES Bowser Castle 3, which was awesome, but, um, this one was remade in, in the Wii. I, I think I mentioned that in a minute here. It's a great track. Um, maybe we'll get a Mario Kart 9. Bowser's Castle was remade not too terribly long ago for the Wii, but I just love this map. Dodging all the thwomps and the fire-breathing statues made this a fun but difficult stage as a kid. I have a lot of nostalgia for this track and its boss theme music, and would love to see it return in HD. Moving on to Mario Kart Super Circuit. Sunset GBA, Wilds. My first track is Sunset Wilds. All right, I'll, I'll let me add that to uh, my list of correct guesses. So we did get Sunset Wilds, except the Sunset Wilds in Mario Kart 8 was such a disappointment because the sun does not set. It is, it is still the entire race. And as I explain here, oh, this track is so great because the sun sets throughout the rays on the last lap. It's nighttime. And in Mario Kart Tour, it, it works. The sun, the sun sets in Mario Kart Tour on your phone and on the console, on the Switch. They couldn't figure out how to get the sun to set. It was very disappointing for me and for a lot of fans. As you race on this map, the sun continues to set with every lap. And by the end of the race, it is nighttime. You also Unless you're Mario Kart 8. All those pesky shy guys right in the middle of the track. Come on, shy guys. Couldn't you set up your tent anywhere else? <laughs> Plus, the music is fire. I mean, just listen to this. It is fire, I gotta say. Next up is Lakeside Park. This track is so neat because as you... Close. So they added Riverside Park, which is very similar to Lakeside Park, except this one has the... The volcanoes erupt in the background and fall on the track. This one was in tour recently, but it was the other one. It was Riverside Park that got into Mario Kart 8, right? And and what did I? This is Lakeside Park. I I know this is the one that didn't get in. The one that with the volcanoes. This gives the map an extra level. Which is sad because this is actually a really great track. Maybe we'll get in Mario Kart 9. Level of immersion that's begging for a Mario Kart 8 remaster. If this level was remade, Nintendo could even make it like the Wii's Grumble Volcano and have the track fall apart with every lap. Come on, Nintendo. I'm giving you some great ideas here. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Many people have been predicting that the Blue Shell Cup that will wrap up the DLC will be made up of entirely Rainbow Road tracks. And you know what? I love that idea. It's a good so idea. Screw it. 
we might as well throw in every Rainbow Road that isn't currently in Mario Kart 8. Starting with GBA Rainbow Road. Yeah, we did not get GBA Rainbow Road. It would have been awesome if we actually got all the Rainbow Roads in the game. But, uh, like in, in Mario Kart history, but uh, we did not, unfortunately. So I ended up picking... Okay, Daisy Cruiser. I'll, let me add that to my list. Daisy Cruiser is a great stage. Um, when I think back to Double Dash... In, in my childhood, my Mario Kart Double Dash days, one one of my favorite GameCube Mario Kart era tracks. This is such a great track. Five tracks from Mario Kart Double Dash because there were just too many good ones. First up is Daisy Cruiser. I know this track was just remade on the 3DS, but I just love this map. Picking a cruise ship to be the setting for a racetrack works so well. You get to drive around the pool, through the dining area, Oh, and don't even get me started on that part where you blast out of the chimney. Yeah. It's so much fun. <laughs> it's pretty cool. How could I not Hey, DK, I got this one right too. A lot of these, a lot, I forgot a lot of my predictions. Like I just made, I, you know, I threw, I made this video and, oh, cool. Okay. Let me just, so DK Mountain, you know what? Um, DZ Cruiser is great, but I think DK Mountain was, is off the top of my head. One of the best, I'm not the best, Double Dash track. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, DK Mountain is epic. I'm so glad this this just made it in the last wave. Though I am a little surprised because with the, the leaks and everything, I thought, just like Vanilla Lake, I thought for sure we would get Dino Dino Jungle because Dino Dino Jungle is also advertised in Coconut Mall and, and Shroom Ridge or whatever. But you know what? I think this track is... is, is I like Dino Dino Jungle a lot, but I think this track's better and, and I love this track. It looks great in Mario Kart 8. His face and his like frown is like glowing in Mario Kart 8's version. It looks it looks awesome. Off to the top of the mountain, then you start your dangerous descent as you take crazy sharp turns, all the while trying to dodge these massive boulders. Finally, you must make it across the long and narrow bridge in which anything could happen. This bridge is a game changer and is perhaps responsible for the most chaotic Mario Kart moments. Next up is Wario Coliseum. Did not get this one. Ramps, jumps, and unpredictable turns and Wario Coliseum is is an awesome track from Double Dash. It's so chaotic. I don't think it's it's never been remade ever in any game, not even tour. I'm really hoping we get this in Mario Kart 9. Movers make this track so memorable. This track is like a twisted jungle. The map on the right side of the screen just looks like a crazy jumbled mess. Yeah. We definitely need to see this chaotic track make a comeback. Dino Dino Jungle is a hey, Double Dash favorite. I predicted Dino Dino Jungle anyway. Um, as, as I said a moment ago, though, we did not get it. But I, I, I think a lot of these that... Because this is another pretty popular one. I think this might be another one that will, will possibly be in Mario Kart 9. Driving between the dino's legs and then ascending only to meet up with them again at the end is amazing. In addition to Vanilla Lake from earlier, this track was also teased in the first wave of the DLC. So I expect to see this track remade. And when we do, Nintendo should turn the end portion into a gliding section where you fly right past the dino's head. That would be awesome. Another Mario Kart and another Rainbow Road. Double I have a lot of Double Road Dash tracks on this list. Music. And I love that too if you fly up. But we did not get uh, Double Dash Rainbow Road either. This is a great. <laughs> I keep saying, oh, we should see it in Mario Kart 9. We should, I hope we see this one in Mario Kart 9 though too, because it's great. It's a great Rainbow Road. Near the end of the track. Seeing this map return would be such a treat. And now we move on to Mario Kart DS. Waluigi Pinball. Come on, did you really think I wouldn't put Waluigi Pinball on the list? This track is one of the most popular tracks of all time within the Mario Kart community. It's true. It's a very popular track. So, uh, yeah, I got that one right. That, that one came out pretty early in, in Wave 2. Um, Waluigi Pinball. Um, fantastic track. I, what else more? Do you, you're on a giant like pinball machine at the end with all the balls going across. It's such a fun track and it actually looks really good in Mario Kart 8. It, it's such a fun track I mean, to race seriously. on. I think it's a given that we see this track in the DLC. Well, in I was fact, right. Nintendo will probably save this legendary track for the last wave to wrap up the DLC with the boom. Well, I wasn't right about that. It was in wave 2, but... Next, we got Ooh, Airship Fortress. This is a great this one, but setting is on top of didn't get this one right. Um, this is another one that I, you know what, I, I think will probably be Mario Kart 9. Uh, it was remade in tour. I think it was remade in Mario Kart 7 as well. 
Um, but it's a great track. I really hope we see this make a comeback. Bowser's airship. Dodging those mischievous Monty Moles and moving fire burners really set the mood for this map. It's one of the coolest settings for a racetrack and we for this map. It's one of the coolest settings for a racetrack and we definitely need to see it return. <clears throat> Once and again, then DS Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. If Nintendo brings back DS Rainbow Road, they should turn all these loopy loops into anti gravity sections. Didn't get DS Rainbow Road. It's not bad. It's not like super memorable, but I only put this on the list again because I wanted all the Rainbow Roads in this game, in the Booster Course Pass, because I thought that would have been epic. I mean, how fitting would that be? First up on the Wii tracks on my list. Okay, so we didn't get Wii's Toad Factory. But in hindsight, I'm, I'm glad we didn't get it because, and I and I mentioned this in my Wave Six uh, Let's Play video when Wave Six came out last week. Um, but because in hindsight, a lot of these two were tracks. Like some of them, it, obviously, the graphics aren't as good compared to the base game tracks. But some of them, the quality is like put more. There's there was more quality and effort put into them. Like the it, it ranges quite a bit. Right, like a lot of people complain about uh, uh, the Toad Circuit, the the first track in the game. Uh, I think Rock Rock Mountain looks pretty goofy as well. But there's a, there's a lot of tracks like the Waluigi Stadium looks outstanding. Uh, Mary Mary Mountain looks outstanding. Like some of these tracks do look fantastic and look like they belong with the rest of the tracks in the base game. Because Toad's Factory is one of my favorite tracks in Mario Kart Wii and of all time, I think. And it's, this track has also never been remade. So I think it's 100% guarantee that we actually do get a Mario Kart 9. 100%. And it'll get a proper Mario Kart 9 remake with whatever gimmick in Mario Kart 9 has incorporated into this track. With the new engine and new lighting. Like, Mario Kart 9 is going to look, like, beautiful, right? So, I, I, I'm because this is one of my favorite tracks of all time... It's okay that I didn't get in the Booster Course Pass. I I'm sure it's going to get an absolutely outstanding remake in Mark 9. It's a great track, Toast though. Factory. I don't hear a lot of people talking about Toast Factory much, but they should. This track is definitely underrated. A factory with moving parts and machinery is one of the coolest settings in the entire Mario Kart franchise. See, I mentioned that I don't hear a lot of people talking about Toast Factory, and I, at the time, I didn't really, but throughout the Booster Course Pass, a lot of people w were demanding this. I, like, I was... Like comment sections and like other people's videos. So Toast Factory actually was a lot more popular than I, I thought it was. Seeing this track we made in Mario Kart 8 Engine would be truly amazing. DK Summit is okay. such a rad track. DK Summit, I got right. Race down the snowy mountain and even get a section where you have to dodge snowboarding shy guys. The Wii really had a, a really great selection of, of tracks. Um, yeah, DK Summit is such a great track. Like, what more do you want? You're going down the hill. Uh, you're, you're, you're. There's, there are snowboarding shy guys next to you. When you're going off these ramps and half pipes, it's such a fun track, and it's actually pretty fun in Mario Kart 8 as well. Come on, shy guys, you're always getting in the way. Plus, the sick tricks you get to do off all the ramps is the icing on the cake. Next up is Koopa Cape. Another one. Another one, right? Okay, Koopa Cape. This is another great track. Um. The only thing I'm a little disappointed was in Mario Kart 8, when you go into the underwater pipe section, it's not a pipe anymore. It's all underwater and you're just kind of, it's like a half pipe that you're driving down. But what was so cool about this was that you're in a tunnel. And I get now, since Mario Kart 7 and forward, you have like an underwater driving mechanic. So I get why they incorporated it and changed the track a little bit. But uh, I really preferred the Wii version, when you're completely enclosed in the tunnel, it just it was just cool seeing all the fish life in the background and, and whatever. Um, otherwise, it's still a pretty good track. It starts off with you racing down a fast moving river. Then you get to go underground and race through a clear pipe under the ocean. Trying to stay in the fast moving middle stream while dodging all the shocks always made this track a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I do prefer the Wii version, I, I'd say. This track was remade for tour, so I hope we'll get to see it in Mario Kart 8. The Wii's Rainbow you know what? Got that one right. The the I was I put every Rainbow Road on this list, so I was bound to get one right. I guess that means 3DS Rainbow Road coming up. I'm going to get that right too. But for now, the Wii Rainbow Road. This is actually I think this is actually my favorite Rainbow Road. 
A lot of people's favorite Rainbow Road is the one from the 3DS, Mario Kart 7. That's great. But I didn't really play Mario Kart 7 a lot growing up. I only really played it recently. Um, this The Wii is just such a nostalgic console. Mario Kart Wii is so nostalgic. The Mario Kart Wii's Rainbow Road is one of the... It's just super nostalgic for me. I love Mario Kart Wii. I think it's my favorite. I think this is my favorite Rainbow Road. Best in my opinion. I remember struggling on this track so much when I was a kid. With the limited railings, wavy roads, and gaping holes in the course, this track was definitely a white knuckler. And I always loved seeing all those star bits in the background from Super Mario Galaxy, since both of those games came out on the same console. Wario's Shipyard is my first 3DS track on my list. This was such a creative course that perfectly utilized underwater sections. Driving through and across all these wrecked and sunken ships was such a brilliant idea. This yeah, it, it's, that's one of my favorite 3DS tracks. And can you guess what I'm going to say next? I hope it comes in Mario Kart 9. But seriously, it's a great track. Um, I hope we do see it make a comeback at someday. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like just everything I said there, it's like a sunken ships underwater level like all these it's a really cool setting track was remade in tour so here's the whole thing it jumps to mario kart 8. the 3ds featured mm. two tracks that took place on the wii sports resort island and the second okay i think i would rather this one come to mario kart 9 even more than wario shipyard because okay it was, first of all it was just so weird that nintendo decided to to do not one but two tracks in mario kart 7 be Wii Sport Resort themed, the Wii Sport Resort Island, but there were actually some really fun tracks and the tracks themselves was kind of nostalgic because it kind of brought me back to the Wii era and like Wii Sports Resort, which I loved growing up. So some great tracks and as I mentioned and show here in a minute, um, the sunset glide at the end is so fantastic. That would look beautiful on the Switch or on the next console. So if any 3DS track comes back, if Woohoo Loop would be would be my pick i think this track is great of them makawuhu was terrific or makawuhu as, as the race starts you are punched in the face with that nostalgic soundtrack you then make your way across the island and up the volcano only to have perhaps the most epic gliding section featured in any mario kart game truly a legendary map if this track with its beautiful sunset doesn't get remade that will be a crime it didn't get remade <laughs> Damn. My third and final mm. Bowser's Castle on this list is 3DS Bowser's Castle. 3DS Bowser's Castle, I think it's a little bit underrated. I don't see a lot of people talking about it, but I think it's really great. I really love the part specifically where you're underwater, but there's still lava. Like there's a lava river next to you underwater. Or no, there's like lava shooting up, but underwater. It's just so cool. Um, we didn't get it remade, but it's not like... It'd be cool if it came back in Mario Kart 9, but like I'm a little bit indifferent. Like if it doesn't come back, I'm not gonna be sad. But it is a track that I, I think about a little bit when I think about Mario Kart 7. Um, it, it was it was a fun track. What else can I say except for that this track is epic? You start off by gliding straight into Bowser's Castle. The road then splits into multiple directions, forcing you to choose a route as you dodge some thwomps. But my favorite part about this track is the underwater lava section. That's right. There is an underwater section that has streams of lava that you must dodge. One of the best looking tracks and level designs I have ever played. Finally, we have reached the 3DS Rainbow Road. 3DS Rainbow Road. So, yeah, 3DS Rainbow Road, when they brought that back in Wave 3 to end off the Moon Cup, um, it was such an outstanding track. It, it was so beautiful. Uh, the, the, the music was fantastic. It was, it was a really great way. I think to kind of, well, it was kind of a, you know, with Merry Merry Mountain in there too, like very Christmassy themed, kind of like to lead up into the holidays. It was such a, you know, magical feeling, I'd say, and a really great pick. If, if the Wii Rainbow Road wasn't my favorite Rainbow Road, it would definitely be this one. And, and this is fa absolutely fantastic, this track. Rainbow Road. Many people consider this version to be the very best Rainbow Road, and honestly, I can't disagree. This track I say I can't disagree, but like, I don't know, Mark, Rainbow Road 7 and Rainbow Road Wii are both like pretty high for me, but I think maybe maybe at the time I liked 7 more, but today I like the Wii a little bit more. It, it's pretty, it is pretty close. It was astonishingly creative. At one point, you were even driving across Saturn's rings, and near the end, you drive across the surface of the moon. 
and can even do tricks off of the creators. This track is everything you thought you needed in the Mario Kart stage and more. It delivers in absolutely every way and never gets old. It is so much fun to race on and travel across all these planets, moons, and the Rainbow Road itself all wrapped into one perfect level. This track was thankfully remade in tour, and I'm really hoping that that means we can expect to see this track make a comeback it sooner. It did. It's really yeah. cool, like, actually coming back to this video and seeing, like, like my predictions and what I got right, what I got wrong. Like, I made this, oh, oh, like, a year and a, ha year and a half ago. Like, man. And now we actually have all six waves. It's, it's crazy. Uh, And there you oh, that's it. the end. My top 30 tracks that okay. I want to see return in Mario Kart 8's Booster Course. So, I didn't I didn't mention this in the video because I had no idea until after, but I don't know how this happened, but there was actually a mistake. In the video, I mentioned that I'm going to give you my list of top 30 games, right? Because um, like I mentioned, like the, so there's 48 tracks in the Booster Course Pass, but because we already knew what Wave 1 was when they revealed it, there's only 40 tracks left. So 40, but I was going to get rid of 10 because a lot of them are going to be tour. I don't care about tour, so I'm going to give you my list of 30 games. That's what I mentioned at the beginning. But in the video, I only sh that was 25 games. I'm missing 5 games. And the reason for that was it I, I in the description of this video I talk I I have a whole big paragraph about it. Like, oh, I don't know how I made this mistake. I I was I made my list of games that I wanted, but and the games that were already in wave one and I guess there was a mix-up or something I don't know it, it anyway in the video I only showcased 25 games but the, so I th so the other five I put in the description of the video so we'll check that out in a second DLC. just to recap my top 30 picks are as follows Yeah, that was only 25 tracks. Well, that just about wraps up today's video. It was so hard to narrow down the list of just 30 tracks, as the Mario Kart franchise is full to the brim with amazing, exciting, and astoundingly creative and fun stages to race on. There were so many honorable mentions that didn't quite make the list, especially the Wii's Mushroom Gorge, which ended up taking the 31st spot. And I, I talk so about Mushroom Gorge there, and I'm like, oh, it took the 31st spot. But I made a mistake, so... Um, Mushroom Gorge was actually would have been in the 26th spot, so it made the top 30. I, I go, you can read if you go back to this original video and you can read the description. I explain in there exactly how I made that mistake. I don't quite remember now, but like I said, I made a mistake, and I made this whole video. I edited the video and I uploaded the video, still thinking that was all 30. I did like how, why didn't I double check? I'm usually I'm usually so careful. I don't know how I didn't like double check and count. That I even I don't I but I had the list in front of me and it said thirty but I guess there was some duplicates or, or something it was something I don't know I've, it was just so strange I was confumbled. They cut Mushroom Gorge from the list as well as so many other stunning maps, but that just goes to show the tremendous imagination that Nintendo has when making these games. If you are still here, I just want to thank you so much for watching today. Ninja Hideaway is a great track too. That was so much the fun. End of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I, I did enjoy past Dom. Thank you. Or share your own list in the comments down below. And with that, hopefully I'll see you next time. And have a great night. Alright, so that was my video. That made over... Oh, this is a, another video of mine. Back before I had a video capture card. I would record with my phone. Oh, it's very quiet too. Well, we don't need to watch If you want to watch that, you can go back and watch it. Um, can I... How do I read the, the description here? Alright, I got the description pulled up here. Apparently, I included the five non-tour tracks from Wave 1 on my list. And it, it got... Well
lost in there and I, I guess I, I don't know didn't notice or something um, anyway so the five tracks I have at the bottom there um, that I added onto the list is SNES Ghost Valley 3, N64 Luigi Raceway, GBA Cheap Cheap Island, Wii Mushroom Gorge, and 3DS Shy Guy Bazaar, which are all pretty good tracks. Uh, Ghost Valley 3 is a little generic, but I guess I just felt I needed to include an another SNES track. Uh, Luigi Raceway, pretty nostalgic N64 track for me. Cheap Cheap Island is pretty great with all the fish dropping out. Mushroom Gorge, another fantastic Wii track, which did get in. 3DS Shy Guy Bazaar, which did not get in. Hopefully, we'll get in Mario Kart 9. Um, so yeah, that's that was officially my list. Um, so in total, I got 11 out of 30 correct. Because uh, uh, so not including the tour tracks, because there, there was 40 tracks left in the DLC when everyone else made their predictions video and when I made this predictions video, but I ignored. I just assumed that I think there was more than 10 tour tracks. There was, and then there were some brand new tracks too, like Yoshi's Island, uh, Squeaky Clean Sprint. But um, anyway, out of the 30 videos that I included in my video and in my description, I got 11 of them right. Uh, in Bowser Castle 3 from the SNES, uh, Calamari Desert, Sunset Wilds, Daisy Cruiser, DK Mountain, Waluigi Pinball, Mushroom Gorge, DK Summit, Koopa Cape, the Wii Rainbow Road, and the 3DS Rainbow Road. June 29th was when I uploaded this, uh, 2022, June 29th, so that's great, and it was one of my first videos ever, it got over a thousand views, but I, I really like doing these kind of videos, like I said, so I don't know, let me know if if you enjoyed, well, not particularly my reaction to it, but like that style of video, I do want to make more of those, but they take a lot more time, I, I have to make a script, it, I have to actually edit it and capture footage, it takes quite a bit of time, it, it's um, you know, like when I, most of my videos, my gaming videos, I just turn on a camera and I, I just play minimal editing. I don't even like, for the most part, I don't even edit the video later. I'll like, if I need to cut something out, if I'm, sometimes if I'm like not talking for a while, I'll just pause the recording on my camera as I'm playing to minimize me editing it later, just cause I'm lazy. Um, but these videos obviously do a lot better because, you know, the more work you put into it, like the better the video is. I do want to make more of those. So. Let me know if that's the kind of thing you, you want to see in the future. I am thinking of doing a rankings video of all the, the Boots of Course Pass track, uh, tracks that are in the game now. So the 48 tracks that were added in the DLC, I do want to do a ranking video of that. And there's a lot of YouTubers doing that now, now that Wave 6 is out and the DLC is done. But maybe before the, end, before the end of the year, I'll make another this style type video and I'll actually put that together. Anyway, that's all I have to say for today. Um... Again, it was it was pretty cool coming back like this. I mentioned this already, but just being one of the first videos I made, like when I was brand new to YouTube, it was really fun coming back and watching this again. And it was really fun to just kind of see my predictions and stuff. So that was pretty cool. I ended up getting a lot of them right, over 10. I got 11 of them right. Um, so that's pretty sick. Um, yeah, and I don't really have anything more to say. So uh, if you're still here, Thanks so much for watching to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed my reaction and, and confirming if, you know, my predictions were right or not. Uh, hopefully I'll see you again next time and have a great day.